Hi, Bill Garvin here for Ganold USA. Okay, in this tutorial video, what we're going to cover is custom patches from start to finish. So the first thing I want to show you is a simple trick that I use to be able to create my templates to cut out my patch material in my Twilly. So what I'm using here is just a piece of poster board paper. Okay, if you don't have any laying around, you can use an old folder. That's what this is. A new product from Ganol that you will come to enjoy and like is called Goody Stick. What this is is an adhesive backing on both sides. It's got a protective cover on one side, sticky on the other. This is just a great alternative and a little less messy than using your KK spray adhesive. Just another alternative. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to apply my Goody Stick to my poster board. Make sure it sticks real good. A little trick to peeling your goodie stick is simply fold the corner over onto itself because remember it's adhesive on both sides so that makes it pretty easy for you to grab and peel apart. Of course this part is just trash. From there I'm going to place this piece of poster board inside my hoop and what I have hooped and ready to go is simply a piece of backing. For what we're doing a piece of tear away or cut away would work absolutely fine. So in this video, if you want to zoom in just a little bit, what we're going to wind up doing is we're going to create a template for our patches. So what I've got loaded is simply the run stitch outline that basically the patch is going to be as the applique. Now on your machines, little tricks you can do depending on the equipment that you have. We're going to take the thread out of the needle and here I'm using needle number one. A lot of machines, the thread brake sensors can be turned off or on some models, actually a lot of models, just pressing and holding the start button, the machine will sew very slowly around. So in this scenario, what we're going to do is sew just the run stitch. onto our poster board material. Of course with no thread in the machine, basically just perforating the material out for us. From there I'm going to remove my product with the goodie paper and all intact. From there I'm just simply going to perforate out the template that I had created. So there's my template, ready to transfer to my Twilly material. Okay, so the ne next step in this process is we're going to take, take our pre-made template that we made. It has the uh, goodie stick material onto the back. Before I start onto my twill, I'm actually going to take another piece of my goodie stick and go ahead and apply it to the back of my twill material for my templates. So this is my template. I'm going to place it on my material. If you notice, the goodie stick material also helps everything simply stay into place. I'm going to take a pen and simply draw the outlines of my pre-cuts. Now, of course, if you have a cutting system, an eye line, or some device like that, that can be done. But for just doing custom patches, this is the easy way to do it without investing tons of money into equipment. And then as we work and sew, we can just continually make as many patches as we need to have them available and are ready whenever you need to make one or two custom patches for this particular customer. When cutting out the templates, you're going to leave the goodie stick material onto the back and we're going to cut and remove the ink line itself. That way we've got a very good representation of the actual size applique design that we're sewing to make our custom patch. So now you have your twill piece 
from your template, you can store, has the paper on the back, ready to stick and be sewed at a moment's notice. Okay, so once we have our templates made from our twill material, and again, I've got the uh, goodie stick material onto the back, our next step is we're ready to sew our custom patch as an applique. What I've done here is I've hooped up Ultra Solvi. Now keep in mind this is a complex patch. This is over 13,000 stitches. So when you get a much higher stitch count, a good trick to use is actually two layers of the Ultra Solvi material to help everything hold into place much better for that stitch count. I've already hooped tightly. I've already sewn my placement stitch onto the machine. Removing the backing for the goodie stick material. We're going to lay into place. You got to make sure that you get it right on the line of your template so everything will line up. On most machines it has some type of framing feature or applique feature. So on here I simply told it to move forward and then to go back. That allowed me to place my material and stuff so I don't have to get my hands and everything underneath here and, and not see where the re replacement is very well. From there we're ready to start and continue on sewing our custom patch. I'm going to stop it just a second. The stitch that you actually see right now is simply a tack down stitch. This isn't the finished stitch or the edge of the patch. This is just an addition to help hold with the goodie stick material onto the ultra solving material to keep everything in place nice and tight as we sew that 13,000 stitches throughout this patch. At this point, our patch is finished. Thanks to modern technology and time-lapse video, we were able to sew a 13,000 stitch, 25 minute design in a matter of seconds. From this point, what we're going to do is remove the hoop and our patch from our ultra solving material. Remember, it was perforated, so now it is a case of just removing the patch from the material. And now you, you have created your own custom patch using Ganold products.